you have a testimony. Mm -hmm. I just thank you, praise God, for being in the house of the Lord one more time. I thank him for being so good to me. Amen. Because God has truly been good to me. Amen. He's kept me from the very hand of the enemy. You know, what I love about God is that he keeps his word. As uh, this situation started, I was kind of concerned financially. But you know what? God is a provider. And every time I went to the grocery store, I looked for sales, yes, amen. I'm not going to lie to you. But every time I went in, God blessed us to be able, Pastor, to be able to do what we need to do and find everything that we needed for our home. And I know that a lot of people, you know, they were fearful. And every time I went into the grocery store, I was able to encourage somebody to just to look up and to live and to know that our God is able to meet every need. And I want to say to the saints of God, to those that are out there, to the listening area, those of you that are listening, that you have been fearful, don't fear. Just allow God to show himself mighty, to show himself awesome in the lives of his people and through the lives of you because when you trust him, when you step out that door, you got to rely on him anyway because we don't know from day to day where we're going to be. And I think that I praise God for the doctors, the nurses, and all of those that took care of us during this time, even though we had to go to the hospital and get medicine and stuff. But I thank God that they took the time out to take care of us. And so I just want to say to the, the Lord, thank you for all of your ministry. Thank you for providing. Yeah. Thank you for your provision. And thank you for taking care of my children. Because you know what? Every day with Jesus, it is sweeter than the day before. So stay encouraged and be blessed of the Lord. And we thank you, praise God, for this day. And now I'm going to introduce the man of God of this house. Amen. None other than our own Bishop Robinson. I thank God for him being diligent in his work amen. here. Thank God for him being faithful. Amen. Because he has went through some things. Amen. Just to be able to make sure that we're online and to make sure that we're on time. But I thank you, praise God, you know, for his diligence. So, and I thank God for the blessed word. Amen. And I want y'all to just open up your heart, open up your mind, and just be attentive to the things that God has to say. And I'm going to turn to the hand of none other than our pastor. And the Bible Way leader, Bishop Robinson. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Thank God. 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 Thank Thank God. Thank God. Thank Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank and we thank God for your love of God Amen. and his will in your life and that you are putting forth the effort to keep yourself built up in your most holy faith Amen. as the word of God speaks to us in Jude. Amen. And I just, I just, I love the fact that, uh, you know, we're blessed to have the opportunity to minister to people far and near. Mm -hmm. Amen. And I would probably be surprised as to the many of you that are out there that are watching. So we want to just pray uh, God's blessing upon you mm -hmm. and just remember that we appreciate you for doing what you are doing. Body yeah. answers me as I pray. Yes, Lord. Father, in the awesome and mighty name of Jesus, we thank you. We th I thank you and bless you this morning for another day of life upon your great earth. I thank you and bless you for life, health, and strength. Thank you for waking up this morning with my mind stayed on you. With my heart on you, my heart grateful, my heart full of love, my heart so appreciative of you for what you've done yeah. and what you're doing even now, how right you are now. raising us up, how you are growing us in our knowledge and wisdom of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, oh, yeah. how that you are perfecting us in our oh, walk yeah. with you, oh, how you are blessing our mind and understanding to grow as you bless us to understand, to grow in faithfulness, to grow in love, to grow in commitment and dedication. To become more and more like you. As one of my dear brothers used to say, I want to be more and more like Jesus. Hallelujah. Every day of my life. I pray this prayer for my for the listeners that are listening and watching us from far and near. I pray God through eternal blessing. Let your angels get camped round about these are wonderful and precious saints of God. Wherever they are, let your angels encamp round about them and keep them from all hurt, harm, and danger. Hallelujah. Thank you for bringing us through thus far. 
thank you for saving us and bringing us out and for keeping us until the day of your coming. This I ask in Jesus' name. Jesus. Everybody that love him say amen. amen. God bless you. God amen. bless you. And amen. God amen. bless you. Amen. Open your Bibles. And uh, get ready to follow me as I read a couple of scriptures mm -hmm. in the word of God. Yes. And I praise and bless God for this precious opportunity yes. again to be able to stand here today. Amen. And to minister to you mm -hmm. in the awesome name of Jesus. Yes. Amen. We point our first scripture, our scripture reference, and the only one that I'm going to use today is coming from uh, Isaiah 53. Isaiah chapter 3. Just one reference scripture today in the name of the Lord. Isaiah the Eagle Eye prophet, the Messianic prophet, one of the greatest and the best, and one that had the clearest message concerning the work of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Isaiah 53. Starting at verse number 10. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. And reading down to verse number 11. So two verses. Mm -hmm. Amen. And so it reads as follows. Uh, I want to go back to, I'm going to go back one more verse. That, that, that'll be verse 9 through 11. Mm -hmm. In the name of the Lord. Amen. So we can get kind of a, a good picture of what the Lord is saying here in these three verses, especially in the last two. Verse 9 reads, And he made his grave, and he's talking about Jesus, the work that he did for us and for our salvation. Amen. And he made his grave with the wicked mm. and with the rich in his death, mm -hmm. because he had done no violence, mm. neither was there any deceit in his mouth. My Lord. Yet it pleased the Lord, mm. God our Father, it pleased, it pleased the Lord to bruise him, yes. and he hath put him to grief. My Lord. Not only did he prove it, but he, he, he poured on us things that we could not in no way bear mm. as individuals. So it, yet it pleased the Lord to bruise him. He had put him to grief. Mm -hmm. When thou shalt make his soul an offering for sin, uh. he shall see his seed. L uh. Listen to the result of Jesus being totally obedient mm -hmm. to the will of God the Father. Yes. It pleased God to bruise him, bruise, bruise him, and to bring him, put him to grief, mm -hmm. and for Jesus to voluntarily make his soul an offering to sin. Mm -hmm. One writer said he became sin for us. He became sin for Continue us. Continue to read. He shall see results. He shall see his seed. Mm -hmm. He shall prolong his days, mm -hmm. and the pleasure of the Lord shall prosper in his hand. My Lord. He shall see of the travail of his soul, this is God looking upon Jesus, mm -hmm. and approving what he did, and shall be satisfied. My Lord. And God observed that by the knowledge of his son Jesus shall, shall my righteous servant justify many, mm -hmm. for he shall bear their iniquity. My Lord. Scripture text today, 1 Peter chapter 1. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. 1 Peter chapter 1. Uh -huh. Glory to God. Verses 3 through 5. 1 mm -hmm. Peter chapter 1, verses 3 through 5. Amen. Amen. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. which according to his abundant mercy has begotten us again unto a lively hope. Oh, yeah. By the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. Yes. Yeah. To an inheritance incorruptible yes, sir. and undefiled yes. and that fadeth not away, My Lord. reserved in heaven for you. My Lord. Read that last phrase from reserved. Read, reserved, reserved in heaven for, for me. Say me. For me. Amen. Continue to read. Who are kept by the power of God through faith unto salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. And Peter was talking to people and trying to encourage them. So I'm going to read just two more verses of his encouragement to the people that he was writing to mm -hmm. in Asia Minor. And wherever this letter was sent. Because these letters were sometimes shared among the churches. Peter go on to say after he said, Who are kept by the power of God through faith, that is our personal faith, mm -hmm. unto salvation. Mm -hmm. And... It's ready to reveal in the last time. It's ready right now. Yes. 
Peter went on to say by encouragement, wherein ye greatly rejoice, though now for a season. Mm -hmm. If need be, ye are in heaviness through manifold temptation. Mm -hmm. Amen, amen. That's an oxymoron. God said, I'll be Lord. with you. The Lord Jesus, I'll be with you. The Lord Jesus, I'll protect you. Mm -hmm. The Lord said, you know, I, 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 I'll be there for you. Mm -hmm. But in reading the scripture, we find out, we find out that even though we can be the most faithful Christian in the world, mm -hmm. sometimes we are going to suffer. Oh, yeah. In other words, our commitment, our salvation mm -hmm. does not shield us yeah. from Trials the suffering and trial and tribulation. All right. So Peter's encouraging us. All right. Yes, he is. Saints were going through. Yes. Amen. Yes, sir. He said, where are you? After all that great commendation about what God had done, how yes. what Jesus did, uh -huh. and how incorruptible this thing is that God has done, yes. and that God is in total charge because he's keeping us by his power. Yes. Amen. Through our individual faith uh -huh. unto salvation. Unto that salvation. We he said, yes, wherein ye are greatly rejoiced, wherein ye greatly rejoiced, Though now for a season, if need be, you are in heaven through manifold temptation. Mm -hmm. That the trial of your faith being much more, more precious than a gold mm -hmm. that perishes, though it be tried with fire, yeah. might be found in the praise and honor oh. and glory at the appearing of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, in the awesome name of Jesus, oh, thank you. bless this word, send it to, our, to the saints of God everywhere. Yes. Yes. Encourage their heart as Peter was doing. Encourage them as Peter, the great the chief apostle. Of all of the apostles, the chief of all that he was trying to do, as he did, rather, in his day, through the ministry, uh, as a high priest over them, over the saints of God. Bless us, O oh God, you brought us thus far through this corona season, and you can keep us, hallelujah, ah, God, until it's over, hallelujah. And if it's not over, you still can keep us. Amen. I pray, God, that you would do it to your praise, glory, and honor. And this I ask in Jesus' name. Every heart say amen. 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 Take your hand as you take your seat. Amen. In the of the Lord. Mm -hmm. uh, amen. Amen. Yes. yes, we are in uh, this season, and uh, it has been a trial, and it has been a great tribulation. It has tried the faith of many. It has tested the commitment and dedication of many. Yes. And uh, amen. And before this, the world didn't necessarily love us and like us as Christians. Amen. We are in a great country. We are in a great country. We are under a, 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 a governmental system that protects our ability and our right to worship and to praise God. But yet at the same time, this world system is not yet for us. This world system is not trying to help us do the will of God. Amen. And so we also face and national ones and community wide situations yeah. we face them uh -huh. and yet God is expecting us as Holy Ghost oh, to encourage the saints oh, of God yeah. in our community and our home we to be unmovable uh -huh. as Paul wrote to the Corinthian church uh -huh. always abounding in the work of the Lord Amen. and though as Peter said we may be tried on every side we may be tempted we may be tried yeah. Peter said but you know Peter encouraged his encouragement was wrapped up in the statement it's just for a season hallelujah yeah. glory to God even though we experience the joy of the Lord and we experience the joy of the Holy Ghost amen and, uh, and the trials and tribulations come and then Peter had something in mind that he wanted the saints of God to know and understand and I'm going to share it with you today because it's going to put you in great stead. It's going to put you in great position, amen, to live, amen, in a world that does not yet love you, but yet serve a Savior that you know love you tremendously. And you are learning to love him. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. Ah, God, you're learning to love him. And that, that that knowledge, that secret was if we learn to love our God and our Savior so much so and if we look at his example and take and take courage from him as he was dying on the cross. Amen. Y'all know what happened at the, as the people when the people were at the feet of the cross. They were, some of them rather, that was his, his, his entourage, they were standing off kind of by themselves because they were not that he may look 
happen in the general amen society of the Rome of the Israelite nation at that time under the Roman government. Amen. Yes, they the Christians, the followers of Jesus, even at that time, they were outliers, they were outcasts. Amen. Uh, amen. Uh, amen. And but the society loved for 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 the most part, they loved Jesus. They loved what he could do and the miracles he worked and wrought. The food that he brought to them, the blessings of relief from sickness. Oh, God, I mean, you, demonic possession. Amen. The dead restored to life back to them. There was many blessings. Oh, God, in becoming a being a follower and staying close to this man called Jesus. But now we see him on the cross. Amen. And the system, the, the, the amen, the, the Holy Ghost, the, amen, the, the general tenor of the nation was, it was against him at that time because the, the, the the spiritual leaders, the Sanhedrin and the priests, the high priest, amen, was against him. They were jealous of what he was doing in the world, amen. They were jealous because they couldn't do what he did. They were jealous because uh, the, 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 the general uh, 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 advantage that they had as the Sanhedrin and the leaders of the uh, Israelite nation under the law of Moses, amen, that position, that authority, it was beginning to slip away from them and Jesus was beginning to get the hearts and the minds of the people in Israel. I feel like preaching. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. And so, amen, here we see them, uh, some of them are representative of them, amen, at the foot of the cross. And such words as this were coming from their mouth. Amen. Though he saved others, amen, and he's such a big shot, amen, let him come down off of the cross and save himself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ah, God. Ah, God. And so they were attacking him. And one of the thieves on one side and one of the, uh, the criminal on one side of them said, Amen. He, he, he railed at Jesus uh, and said some unkind words uh, and some words that were not worthy of the master hanging on the cross for him. But the other one on the other side, uh, God, hallelujah, uh, almost got uh, the vision uh, that Peter was trying to give uh, to the early Christians. Uh, he, uh, he said to him, he looked uh, if he could see him, he, amen, he craned his neck forward, looked over and looked and said, man, you need to be ashamed of yourself. Amen. We, yeah, you and me, we're in the place where we belong. But this man is an innocent man. And he has no right to hear. Glory to God. But the Isaiah, amen, picked up the thought. Amen. And said, amen, God looked at Jesus and what he was doing. And he concluded, yes, I'm going to, I'm going to, amen, I'm going to put him on the, on the cross. He's going to suffer much. I'm going to put him to grief. Amen. Oh, God. Holy hallelujah. But when it's all over, hallelujah, my righteous servant shall see his seed. In other words, God, hallelujah, I feel like preaching. Hallelujah. In other words, God, what he was doing and what he did on the cross was not done for naught. Hallelujah. It had a bug. It had a powerful effect. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. It was going to affect the hearts and minds of men. And they were going to accept his teaching as the, the gospel of his teaching, the gospel of the kingdom. They were going to accept his invitation when he said in Matthew 28, chapter, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavily laden, and I will give you rest. Clap your hand and give God praise. Uh, the invitation is out. Hallelujah. It's up to the people to respond. Hallelujah. And they didn't understand the man Jesus. Uh, some thought he was an imposter, an imposter. Others in the, in the in crowd, amen, except a few, did not did, did knew him to be what, uh, who he was. But yet they even had a misunderstanding about some of the things that he come to do. Some of them wanted him to set himself up as king. 
I never stopped by to tell you he was already king. Hallelujah. Ah, God. And his mission on this earth was a man to choose and select people that would hear his word and hear the gospel preached. I feel like preaching. Ah, God. And respond to it. Hallelujah. Yes to my kingship. Yes, yes to my lordship. Mm. 
known to the to the lordship and the, and the rulership of Satan. Those that are say, Lord, I'm sorry. I repent of my sin. I turn from the world. I want you as my Lord. I see what you've done on this on this earth when you was here. I see you. Those that were there able to witness it. I see you. Uh, I see you uh, forgiving people's sins. I see you telling the woman go and sin no more. I see you telling Zacchaeus, Zacchaeus, get ready, uh, young uh, uh, sir. I'm coming to your house this day. Oh uh, God, if salvation come to your house, and Zacchaeus was glad, and I was glad. How many of you were glad? Were you glad? Hallelujah. When he said. Give you to say it. Were you glad? Hallelujah. When he began to touch you. Were you glad? When he stopped by and began to draw you. Were you glad? Hallelujah. When he put joy in your soul. Were you glad? Amen. When you realize he's forgiven me of my sin. What a God, what a Lord I serve. What a Jesus I serve. What an awesome uh, God. Savior. What a wonderful Sin. Before I repented, I was a man. I was a wretch under. Before I repented, my mind was all messed up. Before I repented, oh God. But that repentance didn't come out of thin air. I heard the gospel preacher that said he died for you, Ernest. Brother Robinson, he died for you. He paid the price for you. salvation that God yes. and his son Jesus worked out yes. wasn't done no. after George Washington became first president of the United States. No, no. It was done before the foundation of the world. Say it, sir. Amen. Because you see in God's mind, because God is yes. eternal, because he's everywhere, know all, and uh, he's everywhere He's, all, he's omnipotent, we use the biblical words. Yes. He's omnipresent. Mm -hmm. And he's omniscient. He's all in. For God, God is not in time. All right. When God decides to do something, he does it. it's, yeah. it's done. Amen. Because all God has to do to see the perfection of it the word. is just roll ahead in time. Yes. Oh, yeah. There's my son. Yeah. He's on the cross. Yeah. yeah. That's him, baby. <laughs> he got up. He found his, his, his wayward disciple yeah. followers, even though those, those great women, those, those, those awesome women who loved him, took care of his every yeah. need. I want to emphasize this because some Hollywood mess. He was not, he didn't have no girlfriend. No. These were awesome women. Mm -hmm. They probably were, had, was married, probably had some husbands. Mm -hmm. Maybe not. Scripture don't address it. Yeah. One other thing I want to clear up. A lot of us preachers and teachers go around saying that Mary Magdalene was a street woman. You want to know something? There is nothing in the scripture that proves she was a woman of the street. Zero. Mm. I don't know where we got that from. Mm. I do. The scripture says Jesus cast seven devils out of her. That's right. That doesn't equate to being a prostitute. Talk back to me, does it? No. So where did we get this thought she was ever a prostitute? She was a sinner and a wretch undone. Probably lived a very unholy life. That's why she picked up those seven demons. But the Lord cast them out of her. And the scripture says this. Watch it. To whom much the Lord has done much for. To whom the Lord has done much for, mm -hmm. that person has a great love great. for Jesus. Yes. Mary Magdalene loved Jesus yes, with all her heart, yes, all her mind, yes. all her soul. Yes. She loved the Lord so much and she was so caught up in his death 
And, and, and the fact that when they got there as a group, the women looked, they rounded that corner coming up that hill, and they looked, and that tomb was open, and Mary Magdalene tripped out. She says, what have they done with the body of my Lord? Hallelujah. Yes. She stopped and oh, I, just, I can't prove it, and I cannot disprove it, but somehow she got separated from the other women who went all the way, heard the message of the angel, and shot by her like a 40-yard dash going to tell the apostle. And she went looking around for somebody to ask a question. Where have you put the body of my Lord? You see how much she loved him? Yeah. And when she saw Jesus, she thought he was a gardener. Mm -hmm. She thought he was the maintenance keeper. The what do they call landscape person for that God got the hill. Yeah. And she asked him, where have they taken the body of my Lord? <laughs> and Jesus, he didn't even ask that. Mary. He called her name. <laughs> he said, Mary. And she immediately knew who oh, he was. Yeah. She loved him so much. She grabbed him by and she fell down on her knees and, uh, and grabbed him around the leg and was holding it. And he told her, Mary, you gotta let me go because I got work to do as high priest. I got to go into heaven. Yeah. Don't delay me. Don't detain me. I know you want to hold on to me until tomorrow. But that can't be. Amen. Amen. He didn't lift her up like the movies would have it and plant a sweet one on her lips. That no, didn't no, happen. No, no. They didn't have a relationship like that. No, no. She loved him spiritually. Amen. In faith. Yes. And because of who he was. Yes. And now she knew him to be much more than what he ever, uh, what they ever perceived him to be. That's right. She knew that he had done something, as Isaiah indicated. Hey. He was going to defeat death. Yes. He was going to defeat the grave. Yes. He was going to see many saints yes. saved yes. in the church, yes. added yes. to his kingdom yes. in various bodies of Christ all over the world. That's right. Not yes. just the United States. That's right but the whole entire world. Amen. And God the Father saw in time and through eternity Amen. that Jesus was going to prolong his days, Amen. fulfilling the prophecy way back in Samuel and in the Kings where Nathan came to David and told him, you're going to have a, 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 a descendant. And out of that descendant, he's going to sit on the throne of David when all those wicked kings between David and a few other righteous ones like Josiah and Hezekiah and a few more that were, but the righteous ones were very few and the wicked ones was, ooh, lots of them. My Amen. My and God cut off the line of David because of wickedness and evilness. But yet, 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 the word of God had gone out. That's right. yeah. And there right. would be a seed out of David that would sit, that would sit on the throne hey. into yes, eternity. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. So God, 42 generations, 42 yeah. generations, yeah. says the, the Josiah types and the Hezekiah types. Yeah. 42 generations. Yeah. He chose Joseph out of the tribe of Jew. Mm -hmm. He chose Mary out of the tribe of Judah. Mm -hmm. And the Holy Ghost impregnated her. And here comes Jesus. Everybody say it with me. Here comes Jesus. Here comes Jesus. Amen. 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 Fulfilling all of the word and the will and the law of God. Yeah. The truth of God's word. And so he did his work. God as we read today, look at verse 2. I'm closing. Look at verse 2 of 1 Peter. Mm -hmm. After Peter, the chief apostle, and I'm not talking about no organization as we have today. Mm -hmm. Peter was the chief apostle because he was the titular leader. And that word titular means by the will of God, the, 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 the perfect will of God, or because of Peter's personality, mm -hmm. and, and because of his age, he was the oldest of the group. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Somehow or another, by God's will, and by general, the general agreement, because we don't see nowhere in the Bible where there was an elect, election. You know what I'm saying? Amen. Everybody, you know what I'm talking about? Amen. There was no board of bishops. No, no. There was no chief presiding, an old chief uh, apostle presiding, and a new one being selected. No, no. no, 
Peter, by way of his wisdom, his age, God's will, and his ability to speak up quickly, and all of that. But with all that, he was a weak little rascal, wasn't he? Lord. Yeah, he was. Mm -hmm. So you can be very strong in presentation, can't you? Amen. <laughs> you can present yourself as all this and all that. Somebody I know who's leading our country. I'm going to leave it at that. Present himself as all that. But yet, ooh, mm -hmm. way in over his head. Yeah. Way in over my his Lord, head. Amen. And so Peter, he became the chief apostle. Yes, Lord. And the rest of them let him be. Yeah. I'm, I'm getting at something. So Peter was writing to, I'm getting ready to close. Peter was writing to the saints in, in, uh, in, uh, he, in verse 1 of 1 Peter. There's several places mentioned. Pope Pontius, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia. If y'all remember looking at the map that I had on the computer here, mm -hmm. where Asia proper was near the coast. Mm -hmm. It was called Ephesus. Y'all remember that? Amen. And then over to the west, east, west. West, east. That's right. West, east. Across the Aegean Sea, that's west towards Europe. My Lord. So Asia, big Asia, Asia large or big Asia, was near the coast mm -hmm. with a few other little, and, and down there north and all the way around and up to almost over to Syria. Was all these regions that he mentions here, Pontius, Galatia, they were way north and on that continent of Asia Minor, Cappadocia, Bithynia, and, and others down to the. I'm, I'm trying to the point. That's called Asia Less, mm -hmm. the, 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 the Asia Major, Asia Minor, uh, the Less. And, and these strangers that is mentioned there, that could be. I'm going to get that message out to you guys that Peter wanted to give them. I'm going to get it out to you. I ain't going to fail you. Uh, it, it, and so he, it, it was, this was a time in the uh, uh, history of Rome and the history of the church. Second century probably, maybe going towards third century. I'm not sure of uh, the time. But it was the church was growing. The church was well established. Mm -hmm. It was not a baby. But the church was going through persecution. Mm -hmm. Roman emperors like, like that crazy one. Uh, moon, whatever his name was, mm -hmm. that crazy one, Nero, they, Nero and, and others like him. And, and they, boy, they were Rome was some communities was ooh we was persecuting the church. And so Peter was trying to encourage them. So he started out in verse two by saying, Elect, letting them suffering Christians know, listen, mm -hmm. you are in the will of God. You may not like it, but you are. Yeah. He saved you. Mm -hmm. He brought you and placed you in the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. You're in the church. Yes, it's tough. Mm -hmm. Saints of God and those that are in, 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 in the United States with us today, <clears throat> you're in the season. <clears throat> if you've lost your job, if your money is low, if your resources are short, mm -hmm. you, you're going through. Oh, yeah. But this is no reason to throw in the towel. Hold on. Uh, God, hallelujah. Oh, and, oh. and declare against the word of God that God don't care nothing about you. Yes, he does. Oh, because you are elect, you are chosen, oh, you are sealed oh, by the Holy Ghost. Yes, if you have received it, you have been baptized in the Holy Ghost. Amen. You are sealed by the Holy Ghost. You are somebody special. Amen. You are God's elect. You are God's chosen. Hallelujah. And Peter said to the church, not in this first chapter, but later on in this first book, he said, like as Christ suffered for us, causing us to be saved, and making a way for us to be saved, and to be called Christian, arm yourself likewise. And Peter meant times like this. He didn't mean that it would always be the government. He didn't mean it would always be the people. He did not mean it would always be, amen, a seen thing. It could be a virus, hallelujah, an unseen enemy. Oh God, that's in it that does not discriminate. The virus don't look at us and say, whoops, that one is a Christian. Oh my God, that's a brother over there. That's a sister. That's a little one in the family of God. I can't touch them. Amen. And the persecutors of that day treated Christian like that. Yes, God said, I'll be with you. Yes, he said, I'll protect you. 
words. He said, hallelujah, I'll be with you always. But he never, hallelujah, I got to say it again. He never said you wouldn't suffer. Clap your hand. Give God praise. And he never said you would lose your life because he gave up his life. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And we like to say quickly, Jesus is, our, is, is my example. Well, yes, but that means you're going to have to go do everything that he went to. That's right. Something similar. Amen. Amen. Hey. You, you don't have a cross you got to get on, mm. but you have a cross that he gave you. Yes. And if it's, if it's suffering, it's, it's, that's what it is. Yes. So he called them elect. Mm -hmm. He was encouraging them. He said, let's go to the four lines. I'm going to read it real quick. Of God. Through sanctification. Now, God's election has nothing to do with humanity. Mm. That's God's will. That's God's plan. Yeah. But God's election is dependent upon <coughs> human obedience. That's it. Hmm? Mm -hmm. That's right. Say let me show you a picture of it. A real picture of it. The 12 apostles, disciples, students, and finally apostles included Judas, did they not? Mm -hmm. Amen. But Judas chose to do something yeah. that kicked him out of the plans and blessings of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Did God have anything to do with Judas' choice? No. God elected, he chose. Yeah. But his choosing doesn't rule the day. God don't have robots. You got to say yes. Amen. So God elects through a plan. Mm -hmm. He sets a plan in order. Yeah. And everybody that follows that plan has said yes to the will of God. Can you all see it? Amen. Salvation is both personal mm -hmm. and reciprocal. Mm -hmm. God offers mm -hmm. salvation. Yeah. I don't believe it. See. I say yes, Lord. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yes. Can you all see it? Amen. God's election, God don't go, you, 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 and you. I need three Indians. I need four black Africans. They're going to be my church. Well, Lord, they haven't repented. That's all right. They're in my church. Y'all know that's not how it works. God's election is through his plan. Yes, salvation. And men can enter that elect status mm -hmm. by being obedient. Salvation is personal. Mm -hmm. It's reciprocal. Offer is made, yeah. it has to be an acceptance yes. according to the will of God. Mm -hmm. And so Peter's telling us how it's done. Mm -hmm. He said, God, had the foreknowledge of God, he elects according to his foreknowledge. He knew the world was sinful. He knew he was going to send his son. He knew the plan of salvation would be laid out. But men had to be preached to. They had to receive the gospel. See the reciprocal part of it? Mm -hmm. They had to receive the gospel. They had to repent. They had to be baptized. They had to say, yes, Lord. And they're in. Mm -hmm. And the Holy Ghost sealed. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. How was that done? That was done through sanctification mm -hmm. by the Spirit and the Word of God and the preaching of the gospel. Mm -hmm. And the sprinkling of blood that Jesus shed on the cross mm -hmm. for our sin. Yeah. Amen. When we're baptized, he covers our sin with his yes. blood. That's why the baptism must be in his name. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. And then he went on to say, you know what? After all that, grace and peace be multiplied to you suffering Christians. Mm -hmm. God bless you. Because God had a plan. Here it is. Mm -hmm. Peter was teaching the saints. Mm -hmm. If you get the mind of Jesus mm -hmm. and suffer in faith and in and, and while glorifying God, I had the opportunity to suffer like his apostles did, to suffer for his name's sake. In other words, if you obediently go to live your life, even under suffering conditions, mm -hmm. hard conditions, losing their life, some of that people being killed, but you hang in there. Peter's taught the Christians, you know what? You can convert mm -hmm. your enemies, some of your enemies in the world. Mm -hmm. You can call some of your enemies to say what that centurion said when Jesus was on the cross. Yeah. When he saw, watch this, show you the effect of a godly life. Jesus was on the cross. He spoke that loud last statement. It is finished. And his head rolled over in the rock of his shoulder when he gave up his ghost. There was a Roman centurion who just executed 
just ran a spear in his life. Yeah. What was the words of that Roman centurion? And not only that, let me show you something else. The sun was shining. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, the cloud come over. Mm -hmm. It came like night. Mm -hmm. The rocks shook. An earthquake happened. The veil in the tent yeah. between the holy, most holy, the holy and the holy went from the top. The Man couldn't do it. It would have took two tall men to cut it and say, "Pull, rip." They had to grow up because that was tall from the floor. You see, it ripped the other reverse way. Mm -hmm. yeah. That meant God did it. That's right. Amen. Mm -hmm. And then the graves, when that earthquake happened, tombs out in the graveyard were open. Now, when he died, nobody came out. All right. But when he rose, oh. <laughs> hallelujah. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. Dead, yes, sir. Dead set. Yes, sir. Got up and went back oh. into the city. Yeah. Hey, oh. Oak, how you doing? Yes. What, man, you? Mm -hmm. you you're you dead. No, I'm not. Mm. Amen. And that centurion said, surely, this must be the son of God. This, you see, mm -hmm. Jesus suffered. And because of his righteous and holy suffering, he changed that centurion's yeah. mind yes, yes. about him. Yeah. You see the lesson Peter was trying to teach us? Yeah. We need to live holy. Yes. We need to be glad to suffer for the name of Christ. Yeah. We need to do it with joy yes. and in the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. You affect your community. Mm -hmm. Jesus said we would become salt yes. and light. Didn't he? Yes, he did. That's what he meant. That was what Peter was trying to get the saints to know. Mm -hmm. Suffer for the cause of Christ. Mm -hmm. Do it with gladness. Mm -hmm. Do it with joy. Mm -hmm. Yes. And your life will affect this world. Mm -hmm. Father, in the awesome name of Jesus, thank you and bless you for this opportunity to serve you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, bless you for the opportunity to stand, to open my mouth, and for you to speak through your servant, to bless the hearts and minds of men and women everywhere. Bless, oh God, every household under the sound of my voice, east, north, south, and west, especially those in Sierra Vista, in the Bible, your family. God, use them. Yes, we are, the, 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 the governor is, if he hasn't done it already, he's going to open up. The churches have you done it already. Some of the people are not ready to unbelief to come out. Bishop is going to talk to the saints and find out where their heart is. And God, I pray that you touch their heart. Help them not to fear. Help them to realize that if you are causing the, the church to open, that in I'm not going to make them. You you can't make them because only when they get faith and a mind to trust you. And through doing the social distancing and all of the cleanliness standards and sta so forth, that they can sit comfortably and in faith in a sanctuary with their brothers and sisters. Give them that heart, Lord. Give them that mind. Show them you've kept them thus far and you can keep them forward and into the future. Uh, God, I pray that you do that, that your name may be glorified. But we will work with the saints. And we will minister to them whichever way we have to in order to get them to come and join us again. I know they want to. Yes. I know it's in their heart. Yes. I know they desired it a Thank long you, time Lord. ago. Thank you, Jesus. So help us, oh God, to overcome fear and overcome our uh, weaknesses of heart and mind. Bless in the name of Jesus yes. that your church may come back together. Yes. In Jesus' holy name I pray. Yes. Amen and amen. amen. Beloved, Bishop wants to uh, encourage you to continue your support of the Bible Way Church. You guys know from past association with us, being a part of our body, not association, being in the body here, that it does take uh, money and finances to, to run and to um, operate a church. Some of you have been so gracious, so oh, loving yeah. and kind, and I thank you for it. I'm not calling names because I don't want to do that. I don't want to embarrass anyone who did not or may not have had money. Mm -hmm. But those of you that have done what you've done in support of the church and realize this is not for Bishop Robinson, it's for the Lord Jesus Christ. It's for his kingdom, which we are and you are a part of. Amen. 
It is our duty. It is our responsibility. But I want to say this, and I've heard uh, I've heard someone take to me. You don't have to. Uh, you don't, please don't you, don't. you don't have to say thank you. But I want to do this to thank show you. you. Thank you. I want to do this to show you yes. how I feel yes. as a pastor and leader of the church. Yes. I can only tell you that Jesus loved those who obey his word. Amen. And he taught giving. Yes. And so Pastor Bishop Robinson really appreciates you, you that have been doing it. Amen. Keep up the good work. Amen. I'm praying for you. Let's pray for Sister Elliot and her husband. Mm -hmm. I'm calling him brother by faith, Brother That's Jerry right. Elliot. Pray for him. Uh, in the hospital, amen. I hope she put this out already. But he's in the hospital and he's being worked on. And so pray that God's will be done. Yes, Lord. <coughs> we thank you once again. Yes. Any of you that want to be saved, amen. My number, and I desire that you call me if you're within ministering distance from me, which means in the area here in Sierra, in Sierra Vista, the county or the state of Arizona, mm -hmm. I will call you. I don't care where you're from. Yes, Lord. Call me if yes. you're interested in being saved, brought into the kingdom of God, 520-235-7290. I'll slow down. Mm -hmm. Call me, 520-235-7290. Yes. 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 Or yes. send a text message or a message or whatever social media platform you have. We will hear <clears throat> any questions. Yes. We will deal with that. Amen. I bless you. I praise you. I pronounce God's blessing upon you. May uh, his grace be multiplied towards you. May his, peace, his grace and mercy be multiplied towards you. Yes, May his love and care yes. ever be with you. And I thank you for being with us today. I'm going to pray this prayer and bid you a great and wonderful goodbye for the remainder of the day. You. Enjoy your family. Yes. Enjoy the rest of the day with your yes. family. Yes. And enjoy your relationship and your walk Stop. with Jesus. Amen. The King of kings, Lord yes. of lords. Yes, sir. And he's soon to come. Yes. Father, in the awesome name of Jesus, Jesus, stretch out your hand over this audience, yes. everyone that has been listening to us, yes. <clears throat> everyone that will hear us later. Mm. Bless as only you can bless. Yes. Continue to keep and preserve and hold up as you've done beautifully up until this time. Hallelujah. This family of the Bible Way Church, yes, Bible Way Emmanuel Temple, here in Sierra Vista, Arizona, the great Southwest. We pray, we praise, and bless you. And I thank you right now. All blessings, honor, and glory belong to you in Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Goodbye, Lord. one and all, everybody, East Coast, North Star, South. Goodbye. God bless. May the Lord God bless you real good. May the Lord God.